This is my reaction to Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated Season 1, Episode 17, Escape from Mystery Manor. In the last episode, a woman who used to go to Crystal Cove High disguised herself up as Aphrodite, made a love potion type shit, and made everyone fall in love. And it turned out she just wanted revenge because she kind of got carried at her prom, so. Professor Pericles was back, and he helped Scooby, kind of, except then he ended up using other stuff to for another thing that he was working on. I, I don't really know what that was, but yeah, he had ulterior motives, so. Hmm. Even Mr. E's um, per assistant bodyguard, whatever the fuck this guy is that works for Mr. E. He even said how Professor Pericles is working on, like, discovering the treasure of Crystal Cove, and if he does, then it could mean the end. So, I don't think this treasure is just, like, golden shit. I think this is, like, a power kind of treasure, you know? So, yeah. Also, Professor Pericles, now I know, like, he he's not trustworthy, which I, I kind of knew. He had, he had the evil scar. He was locked in the same and I'm like, I figured he wasn't trustworthy, but it's also weird to think because he was once like Scooby, right? He was the Scooby Doo of the old Mister Incorporated, like, and now he's an evil, psycho, insane bird. Like, like what's gonna happen to Scooby in the future? That's what I'm worried about. Because I'm I'm making that comparison with the old group, and, like, it makes me uncomfortable. Like, because what will happen to Scooby in the future? Like, will he end up like Professor Pericles? I, I, I don't like thinking about that, but, um, yeah. Anyway, um, let's go. Trick or treat! <gasps> oh! You'll never get this from me, you little brats! Never! Sir. Oh, hello! <laughs> Madam! <laughs> Where is it? Hello? Earthquake! Oh Daddy? shit. Mommy? What's going on? What the fuck was that? Okay, here are the clues we have so far that we know oh. are linked to the curse of the haunted treasure. One. Oh, so this the is a big episode. The we found in the Crystal Cove caves. Yeah. Which has the picture of the Darrow family, who disappeared oh. along with their mansion nearly 75 years ago. Oh, we just saw Without that Without a trace of Romansylvania. <laughs> this belonged to Cassidy Williams of the original Mystery Incorporated. Oh. Try the last entry before they disappear. If we're lucky, we'll find a subtle clue that will help us. Be patient, though. This could take hours of Someone careful... Someone will find it. I found something. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Catch me, Fred! What'd you say, Dan? Never mind. Time to drop out of college. <laughs> yeah, that's why I did. Oh, hello. Welcome back, Mr. Incorporated. This time, you'll never leave. This time? <laughs> My old visitors, Brad. You too, Judy, Cassidy, Ricky, and of course, Ever coming, Professor oh. Excuse me, demented speaker, sir. <laughs> There's a misunderstanding. For some reason this guy believes we're the original Mystery Incorporated. Fred, what's going on? Which means Sorry, the original Mystery I Incorporated were down here at some point. Drops. <laughs> oh, Look, I got an idea. Let's get out of here before we step in one. <laughs> oh! That's one. Way to go, genius. <laughs> Stay calm, gang. No doubt behind that painting. Follow me, gang. That's not gonna be it. Oh! Wow, the Calabash Gambit. I've only read about that in books. Fred! Wow. Oh! Can't stay out. You think 
you're clever with traps, do you? He does. Yeah, Brad and Judy. Your girlfriend there has always wondered how much you love her. Oh. Now's your chance. Oh, that's to true, though. Your love. This fiend is a genius. I mean, I've studied some brilliant trap makers, but this guy tops them all. The slow filling pool thing, and and those little clues which seem to make no sense. Move over to me. At least we'll be together. Oh, sorry, Dad, but I've got other plans. What? <laughs> I hope he means he's gonna get them out of here. And I am out of there. Hey, no, Daphne. Yeah, I'm hi. Not. Yeah, Daphne. No way am I letting this end the way he wants it to. Fred, oh, we can bring a chain, no, right? Like this. Better. Oh, <laughs> good one, boyfriend. I I'm fine. I mean, <coughs> just to be on the safe side, shouldn't you give me some CPR? Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I meant mouth to mouth CPR. Oh. Wait, where are we? Someone in this room is a big fat insecure know it all. But. Only the truly Belmont. smartest member of your party. I wouldn't exactly describe myself as big or fat or insecure, am I? <laughs> Why are you too supportively agreeing with me? Wrong one. Chinkies! Just oh. look at him. There's no way a human physique could wind its way through all those trip wires. I smell food. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's probably like stay on shit. Uh, Out of no. Free! <laughs> you did it, pal! Hmm. Oh my That's like whoever this guy is, let's not invite him over for dinner. <laughs> Don't worry. The only dinner being served tonight will be you! What the fuck is the that? One outwits Danny Darrow. <laughs> What is that thing? It's like a fucking little gremlin. That's little Danny Darrow? He's lived down here all these years? You stay out of my room! Wait, that's a little kid? Why does he keep talking about a treasure? It, from the, like, first, like, clip? Oh! For now, let's just get the heck out of here. Okay. Look! Two trap masters born of flesh but skilled by gods, facing each other with traps on the field I mean, of Fred battle. Fred did get him and Daphne out of the pool. Burning in their lungs. Uh, what's up with Freddy? Oh, he's just in the zone. It'll pass. If not, we'll spray him with a hose. <laughs> no. Danny go, Danny go. What's up? This is your mother speaking. You're not my mother. Oh, bye. How did they do it? Way to go, gang! Oh, they got him. You know, I, I thought at first I'd go with the Orpheus proposition, but I didn't have any milk. Excuse me, sorry to interrupt, <laughs> but what's the big idea trying to kill us? And what's with this thing? My treasure! You don't look anything like I remember you. Mm. Especially that parrot over there. <laughs> Thank you. My loved ones grew old and passed all around me, but I hardly even noticed. Uh -oh. Then, those meddling kids showed up. They were after my treasure. I knew it. So I spied them. It's one of my earlier models. Oh. What's going on? All those traps going off must have awakened the area's fall fly. Oh. Quick, grab my hand. Don't worry about me. Oh. Now's your chance for escape. But your treasure. Keep it. After all that, he saved us. Or did we save him? Yeah, like he did say this wedge was cursed. Whatever it is, it's our responsibility now. Question is, are there other pieces out there? And if there are, who else is looking for them? That was my reaction to Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated Season 1, Episode 17 Escape from Mystery Manor. So I think this was the first episode so far where 
the main plot was about the bigger mystery. Right? Because this even started off with them thinking about all the clues, like the the locket, Professor Pericles, the Darrow family. The, like, this was the first time where they were actually looking for clues and how to uncover the bigger mystery of Crystal Cove, which I actually really enjoy. So, so they went to the Darrow University because the Darrow Mansion was there underneath the ground. So they had to go in where there was this little, like, fucking, like, hobbit dude who, uh, okay, I, now, I've never seen Harry Potter, but it looks like the, one of the people from them, you know what I'm talking about? I'll put an image up, like, somewhere. Like, you know, it, he, like, because when I saw him, I'm like, huh, that looks like that guy. Then again, I, I watched Harry Potter, like, what, once? I've seen, like, one of the movies. Yeah, so, I, I don't know what it's called, but he reminded me of him. Turns out that was Danny Darrow from the original, like, Darrow family, who we saw in the first clip, like, go under. And once he got the, I guess, what, fucking, like, pizza slice, or whatever the fuck it's called, um, like, apparently it's cursed. And, and now the gang has it, so. Yeah. And then Fred's dad was sitting there watching. Fred, I think Fred was saying, like, and who else wants her or something? And Fred's dad, like, suddenly came in the frame. So he's definitely a bit... He's been a big part since the beginning, because even when the first episode when Daphne found a locket, even, like, he had, like, a reaction. Like, he know He's a part of it in some way, or he knows something, or he's... He definitely plays a bigger part. Again, don't tell me anything. Um, I, this is just me talking out loud. But, um... Yeah. The thing is, I don't know if it's good or bad that he's, like, part of it. Because we know... Professor Pericles is part of it, and he's clearly bad. Mr. E... I don't know if he's good. I, I don't know if he's good or bad. Honestly, I kind of think he's bad. The fact that we haven't really, like, actually met him in person, and he's like... I don't trust Mr. E. He's too sketchy. And then Fred's dad. I don't know if he can be trusted either. I don't know. Again, don't tell me, but... I don't trust him. So, yeah. That's it.